boys and girls, nice to meet you again. Welcome to my class. Well, the course is about the English listening and speaking for sailor, and the topic of unify a structured part of a ship. Now let's begin our class. Today we will learn lesson two, the main part of a ship. First of all, we should know our teaching aid. After we finish the lesson, we should be able to know more about the main part of a ship. Tell some names of structure part of a ship according to the picture, and can communicate with the glue when describe the places on board. The curtains are consisting of four parts. The first one is the leading. The second one is the useful words and expression. The third one is a dialogue study. The last one is summary. Now, after learning this unit, you are required to finish the following text. A sailor of a ship is asking the third ship about the places for pay, fresh water, balanced water. A third ship is answering the question. Now I will show you a video. There's a question. Can you speak out some terms about the structure part of a ship from the video? Let's see the movie. You must have seen massive ships sailing at high seas. Can you name different parts of the ships? Do you know each part of the ship is built with a specific purpose and has a unique name? The unique terminologies used for defining different aspects of ships are internationally accepted standards. In this video, we will try to visually understand different parts of the ship along with the most common terminologies used worldwide. Let's see how many you know.
This is all about the movie. Have you got the main idea of the video? Actually, it's about the main part of a ship. Could you speak out some important terms according about the structure part of a ship from the video? Now, please look at the picture we have got in the last period. It's about the main part of a ship. In generally, a vessel is made up of two parts, the hull and the support structure. The main body of a ship is the hull. The hull contains the engine room, cargo space, and the number of ten. The deck extending from bow to stern is called the main deck. That's the main deck. The superstructure is above the main deck. That's the superstructure. The superstructure includes the fossil, bridge, and poop. The full part of a ship is called the bow and stern, and the outer part is called the stern. The middle part of a ship is a midship. When standing on a ball, a ship and facing the bow. The left hand side is called the pop side, and your right hand side is called the starboard side. Do you have some rough ideas about the structure part of a ship? We should study some new words. Please look at the new words and listen to the record. There are several important words we should learn today. Now let us learn these new words. Words and expressions. Paint. Paint. French water. French water. Four peak tank. Four peak tank. Aft big tank. Aft big tank. Ballast water. Ballast water. Double bottom tank. Double bottom tank. Now let's learn these words one by one. Please look at the vocabulary. The first one is the pay. Pay is a color liquid that you put on the surface with a brush in order to protect your surface or to make it look nice. All that you use to produce a picture. The second one is a fresh water. Water that is good to drink because it's not dirty or contaminated. The third one is a four peak tank. It's a noun. It means at the four ends of the hole. They are used for fresh water and water balance. The first one is an epic tank. It is a noun. It means at the outer ends of the hub. They are used for fresh water and water balance. The fifth one is a balanced water. It is a noun. It's used in ship to make them heavier or more stable. The sixth one is a double bottom ten. It's a noun too. It means a large double bottom tank container for the storage of liquid. Okay, we have finished the vocabulary study. Now let's continue to the dialogue study. Please listen to the dialogue. Drills. One. Where should we put the paints? In the paint locker under the forecastle deck. Two. The fresh water should be stored in the four peak tank. The fresh water should be stored in the aft peak tank. Three. 
three. The ballast water is stowed in a double bottom tank. Now let's get into the part three, learning through picture. Could you speak out the words according to the picture? Now let's listen to the record. Remember that? Okay, please read after the record. Now let us review the sentences. Just now we have studied four sentences. Words and expressions. Paint. Paint. French water. French water. Four peak tank. Four peak tank. Aft big tank. Aft big tank. Ballast water. Ballast water. Double bottom tank. Double bottom tank. Now let us review the sentences. Just now we have studied four sentences. Could you read it? Okay, please read after the record. Drills. One. Where should we put the paints? In the paint locker under the four castle deck. Two. The fresh water should be stowed in a four peak tank. The fresh water should be stowed in the aft peak tank. Three. The ballast water is stowed in the double bottom tank. Okay, that's all we have studied today. Thank you so much for today. See you next time.